All right, everybody. Well, guess what? We're back to fencing again. Um, as you can see back there, Xander is currently rolling a roll of fencing over here. We're going to start right here at this gate, at this pole for the gate, and go down to the next pole for the next gate. And uh, we'll kind of show you how we're putting it on and uh, how we're wrapping it around the post, securing it to the post and all that good stuff. And um, we're not going to show you all of the fence going up. We're just going to do this little short piece and kind of show you. And then we're going to get ready to hang the gates after we get the fence up. So we'll uh, we'll video how we're how we're doing the the gates. But for now, we're going to get this fence set up, and then we'll be right with you. Okay. So what we're using is this OK brand hinge joint fencing from Tractor Supply. And like I said in the last video, we don't really uh like shopping at tractor supply a whole lot but we really ain't got no other choice because it's the only place close and local so what we're going to be doing is we're going to take this fence and we're going to get it wrapped around this post right here and stapled in and get this wire see how they left this right here sticking out that'll wrap all the way around this post and we'll wrap it around itself after we get it stapled and then we're going to pull it down to that next wooden post pull it tight cut us some slack just like this again and uh wire it back to itself and that one little section will be ready so uh let's get to it okay so <clears throat> so we have this fence strung along here as you can see it's really really loose so down here we have I'm too cheap to go buy a fence puller so i got a piece of board weaved through there with a strap and a come along hooked to the bucket of the tractor and we're gonna pull it and get it tight so sander's gonna film it while we pull it tight pretty pretty basic I mean, you just pull on the come along like so i mean i may need to drop that bucket down a little bit hang on he's pulling it up back against the ground now. Really? The stick broke. And I got it over in this side of it. Alright, well, drop the cord mat. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take some staples and go right down this line, maybe even man pulling a little bit, and we're going to staple that off, and I'm going to cut it off back here, and we'll wrap it and wrap the end up. I'll walk down here and show you kind of how we uh, how we did this end a little bit. It had that extra coming out from it and we just took it come all the way around the post back to itself and wrapped every single one of them all the way back around so it give us a nice good fence now them goats will push up against this fence but i probably should have used just uh woven wire instead of uh this pivoting jointed but it's gonna be all right. It's it's gonna be good enough for goats, I believe. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna staple this off, and I'll show you that here in just a second. All right. So it's pretty basic. I mean, it's just staple, just like that. We're gonna go down every one because the way this jointed works is this is your main line, and these are just wrapped around it at every every one. So 
this is what carries all the weight of the actual fence of an animal pushing against it. So we're gonna staple every one of these all the way down on both ends and then we'll cut it off and wrap that in and this little section will be done. Yeah. Just like that. We're gonna go down to this other post and do the same thing. Make sure I take my cutters with me. And uh then we'll come back. We got some one good thing about tractor supplies, we uh when you buy these T posts, they got them in bundles of five and they give you a pack of wire clips for every five that you buy. So we got plenty of those. Alright guys, as you can see, Xander is going to demonstrate wrapping that around. Well, he's already kind of got that one started, so we'll wait till the next one. All he's doing is pulling it around, coming underneath. Here, I'll help you. But he's coming underneath and he's grabbing them with them pliers and pulling it super tight. There you go. Go ahead and go down. All right. So all he did was we pulled it super tight around that fence. Not around that fence, around that post. Lord, it is fence. And then we just wrapping it around like that just to secure it. Works pretty good. And yes, it is windy as all get out. Alright, so he's got a hold of it there. There you go. Beautiful. Just like so. Works pretty good. Seems to hold pretty good. Um, we got some them little clamps I was talking about that came with it. I'm uh oh we had picked up like bad So I'm gonna grab a bag of these little clips, deal things. I'm sure most people have seen them. Uh in case you hadn't noticed, we, we work out of the back of this Ranger a lot, so there's all kind of stuff in there. So, we are going to demonstrate how these little clips work here in just a second. Okay, so we're using these little clips that they give you at Tractor Supply with these T posts. I mean, they work pretty easy. You just hook one side. Yeah. There we go. Hook the other side. And they make a little special tool for it. There again. Right. I just take my pliers and wrap it around like so. like so and that's it so we're gonna put like four of them on there on every post and uh move on to the next section we'll probably hang a gate right down here in a little bit it'll be the next portion 
and then we'll uh we'll probably pick the video up kind of after we got most of the fence done after the gate part so but that's it for time being okay so we are going to go ahead and hang the gate on this post right here um it comes with these little um deals hangers i guess you'd call them we're going to drill a hole through the post this will go in and uh there's the gate and then it sets the bottom one sets over there like that and then once we get the top one almost up there once we get it almost ready to go it's going to go in from the top like this and it'll be a little crooked and we'll spin it in the last turn into it to make it drop in place so the bottom of this is five inches from the bottom of the gate to the bottom of this so to drill our hole we're going to come up six inches from the ground up to give us a half inch of clearance with the half inch thickness of the bolt i think I think that's gonna work. That's what we're gonna try anyway. So, let's we'll see what happens. Without it being cattywampus. Yeah. All right, so up six inches. <clears throat> Be right there. And kind of, kind of centered. It'll be right there. So that's where we're going to drill our hole. And hope to God this works. Yes, I drilled the hole all the way through because the bolt's gonna go all the way through. I didn't use big like eight inch uh, posts for the gates because we're using six foot gates and they're really light. So I'm not I'm not really worried about it uh, being a huge, huge post. Now the fun part. Xander, can you go find me a regular pair, like a regular pair of pliers? Parallel blue handle channel lock or something. Because I'm really going to need those for this. <sighs> Alright, so you can see the gist of that. I got a long way to screw that in because this is going to end up right close to this post right here. It's not going to be like dead against it, but it'll be it'll be up pretty close to it so i'm gonna run that in there and we're gonna drill the hole in the top and hopefully i measure it out right and it goes in there right we'll see here directly okay so we got one gate hung ended up not going quite all the way in with that bolt i didn't need to um but i just measured up from there and uh run this one in and as you can tell the post ain't really level so this one's sticking out a little bit further but it's a small enough gap that ain't no goat gonna get through there now as you can tell i'm gonna have to put some uh fencing across the bottom of this gate because they can them little babies is gonna be able to fit through that so we're gonna uh we're gonna put some put some fencing across there that way they can't get out but we got it all set up over here looks good on this post so that's uh that's it that's how we hung a gate we're gonna get to stretching the rest of this fence out right here and uh get that other gate hung get this uh middle section right here done all the way across there and then we'll be ready to put some goats in there probably tomorrow or monday um tomorrow is by the time y'all are gonna see this, it's gonna be well after Mother's Day, but this is the day before Mother's Day while we're doing this. So it'll probably, uh, probably won't work on a whole lot tomorrow. We, uh, we're probably gonna hang out with the wife. We got some other stuff to do, some errands to run and whatnot. But uh, that's gonna be it for right now. We'll pick this back up after we get the fencing kind of strung out down through here and 
let you see how that looks after it's all all done so we'll see you in a bit all right guys well i'm gonna call that quits for today it's not gonna be the end of the video we did get uh second gate in right here we got the fence down to this corner all the way down to that corner but my hands is pretty much burnt up for the day they sore they tender so uh we're gonna pick this up later we uh like i said this won't be the end of the video we'll pick it up again the next day we work on it so for me it'll be a day or two for y'all we'll see you in a few minutes all right guys well we have officially finished wrapping the fence all the way around comes in over here stops at this gate <clears throat> stops right there our gate here goes down here now I was, i'm gonna put fencing up here but that piece that i got left over is uh not long enough this is 50 feet and that's only 40 feet long so I think what we're going to end up doing uh, tomorrow, weather permitting, is I'm going to put the some stuff at the bottom to keep the baby from being able to get out and uh, move them goats up here. So hopefully, it's thunder and lightning right now. It's been raining again for two days now. So we've been trying to get this fence done in between rainstorms but we got the fencing part of it done other than this middle section which ain't gonna be no big deal we'll get it up in the next day or two so if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we put new videos up we've been trying to average about every four or five days putting a video up um but um share this channel with your family and your friends that way uh it can get out there the numbers are still going up and we like that so we just uh we just gonna keep putting information out there for everybody to see on what we're doing and maybe it'll help people with what they're doing around their house so until the next one